Then glass we are in Piccadilly Circus near the statue of Eros. Today is World Hepatitis Day, but we talk also about the Congress concerning HIV, concerning the struggle against AIDS in Durban. What's the result? What's your experience in South Africa? Yeah, so I got back two days ago and it's really good to be back in Piccadilly Circus, the heart of queerdom. Um, it was overwhelming, I'm still processing it. I think the main things, on a very concrete level, we were there as part of Act Up London um, to do HIV Blind Date. Um, uh, yeah, we were doing HIV Blind Date, which started off um, in our very own East London best queer club, The Glory, and then we got asked to do a show to open one of the stages in, in uh, Durban, which was hilarious. Um, so Scylla went to Durban, and it was with three incredible women, and my friend, um, an incredible gay rights activist from Cameroon, who was asking the questions. Questions were, the same old blind date format, what's the most fabulous sex you've ever had? Uh, what are the three best things about being an HIV positive woman? And you're trapped in a lift with the head of Gilead, the head of UNAIDS and the head of USAID. You look in your handbag, you've got uh, a balloon, a cake and a gun. What do you do? Um, but it was great. It was, Scylla was amazing this time. Uh, and a, a, an HIV activist, Michelle from Australia, didn't need any training in terms of what it means to be a host. She got in the gold dress, got her boobs out. She was like, Who's going to get my boobs tonight? So it was, she, everyone was on fine form and, you know, inter she's also a karaoke host, so she had all the songs on her computer anyway, so everyone was singing We Are Family, Respect, and loads of other, like, power ballads and power songs. So we did that. We also did a protest against Gilead. We had a subversive poster which said Gilead, um, profiting off the hepatitis um, pandemic. And I think one of my learnings from Durban was that there's not enough focus on the root cause of the problem, which is the pharmaceutical greed. The thieves at the head of the pharmaceutical industry who are not lowering the price of drugs. Like we had at the opening ceremony, there was like 4,000 people in the room. Everyone's giving their own thoughts about what are the problems and what the root cause is behind the HIV hepatitis pandemic. And yet, the, the bastards are sitting in the first few front rows of the conference and no one's pointing it out. So it's, that's the elephant in the room, is the pharmaceutical greed which is leading to the rise in transmission levels anyway the next conference is going to be in Amsterdam in two years and to act up London and a lot of other European civil society civil action groups it's our responsibility to like lead the protest and to highlight the root causes of the problem AIDS is a political crisis um, what do we need now in uh, 2016 to put an end to this crisis right Good question, Paolo. I love your questions. AIDS is a political crisis. One of the reasons that I came here this morning is because Gilead have just... Oh, hey, Andre, are you off? Go breakfast. Wait, two seconds, two seconds. Um, uh, I've got to have breakfast. Former Scylla, former Scylla. Um, Gilead, just um, 10 billion, sorry, 10 million dollars in an offshore account, tax haven, which could be spent on providing a hepatitis cure for all. So it's like, that it is a political crisis because some people are making fucking shitloads of money by not providing the cure and medicines for all, both on hepatitis and HIV grounds. We have all the tools at our disposal to end the pandemic. It's there, it's not like it was in the 80s. We have them at our fingertips. If the pharmaceutical companies and the gov complicit politicians who are allowing them to get away with murder carry on the way they do. So that's why we've got to challenge them. Finally, do you think that the politicians are interested to find a, a cure, a functional cure uh, and a, a functional vaccine against uh, HIV? No no, 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 no. Because HIV is also a way of uh, social control somehow. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's keeping the, keeping the poor people down. You know, if HIV affected the powerful elite, the white, straight, rich, uh, able-bodied men in the House of Commons, it would be a very different story, but they like to keep us down. But we're not going to do that. <laughs>